Hi all, welcome to Design Engineers Telugu. In this video, from Walls Toolbar, we are going to discuss about Wall on Edge. Okay, if you want to use this Wall on Edge, you should have one sheet. Means, suppose for example, if you see this sheet, okay, on this edge or on this edge, I want to create one wall or one flange. Okay, that flange we are calling it as wall here. Okay, that's it. Okay, just click on wall on edge. Just select any one edge. Okay, simply just like this. Then here you have your flange. Okay, now if you see here, we have height and angle. Okay, so I don't want this much of height. I want to make it as 100. I can make it 100 directly. I can type 100 here. That's it. Just with the 100 height, you have created your wall. Now, I want to change my angle. Okay, I don't want to make it exactly at 90 degrees. Okay, now I can increase this angle. I can decrease this angle also. Like this, I can increase or I can decrease my angle of the flange. Okay, so if you see from the uh, side view, you can get a clear idea. Okay, see now. Here you have your flange. Okay, I'm making it exactly at 90 degrees. Okay, so now I want to make some more changes on this. Okay, so now we have seen height and angle. Okay, here we have one more option called reverse position. Okay, so now you are getting your wall on the top side, right? Top side of your sheet. I want to make it reverse. Okay, just click on reverse position where you're getting. You're getting in downside okay if you want to make it reverse again you can make it okay by using this reverse position option you can add your flange either in top side or in a bottom side depend upon your requirement you can add it here at the same time okay here we are adding our height right suppose for example if you see height this height 100 okay 100 from where it is if you want to check that you can check here okay if you see in this image we have different images okay means these are representing that from where we are measuring this 100 height suppose for example if you see first one okay in this image it is measuring from this bottom face till top of this edge okay so that means from here to here we have 100 mm suppose if we click on this one second one from where it is starting it is starting from the top of this face to the top of this edge. From here to here we have 100. And from here to here you will get how much? 103. 103. Because the thickness of the sheet is 3 mm, right? Okay. So, like that. If you want to measure from this bend exactly, okay, you need to click on this third option. Okay. Just click on this one. So, you can you can understand here like uh, this height is getting increased because from here we are measuring it as 100 okay if you measure from the bottom obviously the flange height will get reduced yeah like this okay so here the first option and last option are almost same okay these are the three different variants we have to represent our height of the flange so now you come to know that uh, when you're giving height you should keep it in your mind like how much height we are giving and from where we are giving that height okay so this point we should remember in the same way like this now you have given vertically and horizontally also if you want to make some changes like see here we have invert material side okay suppose for example if you observe here we have our sheet up to here only and whatever flange we have created that is coming out of the sheet okay coming out of the sheet now if you click on invert material side now what happens see whatever flange we have created that is coming inside of this sheet only okay like this you can uh, make it outside of the sheet or you can make it uh, inside of the sheet okay at the same time here we have bend with bend 
okay means whatever bend we have given earlier okay in our initial stage we have given bend parameters right like where we have given a, a thickness of the sheet bend radius okay by default bend radius whatever you have given there that will automatically reflect here okay so that 6 mm we got here okay if you want to use a different bend radius we can use but later we will discuss about that just keep it as it is if you want to create without bend also you can create okay but later i will explain like if you create without bend then how to operate this how to add bend that and all we will discuss later okay as of now just to create your flange with bend okay and now if you see here we have clearance mode suppose for example if you click on material outside okay invert material side if you click on this one what is happening material is going outside and now what i want to do is i want to bring this bend entire bend outside okay not material entire bend i want to make it outside then what to do in that case in clearance mode you have bidirectional option just click on this okay you will get a message like this just click on okay see now what happened exactly from the edge we have started our bend okay so this is one option like if you want to give exactly outside from the bend then you can use this bidirectional option okay now i want to make some offset i don't want to make this bend exactly at here i want to make some offset and then i want to start my bend then what to do in that case we have mono directional okay just click on this one and now here it is asking for a clearance value i am making it is 10 example i am giving 10 see like this if you want to increase further you can increase it's up to you just increase like this see actual sheet whatever you have created that is up to here only and then from here with some offset distance you are creating your flange and uh, between whatever the distance we have right this one it will add sheet automatically just if you click on ok you can come to know easily if you click on preview at least you can see see like this okay so like this you can create your wall on edge okay uh, so if you want to use a no clearance it will exactly start at the edge if you click on bidirectional it will start at the bend if you want to give some offset distance you can go for mono directional and then you can create okay these are the different options we have to create our wall on edge so now what i have to do is here i have flange right this flange i don't want to start exactly at this end i want to make some offset and from there i want to add the flange okay in that case what to do here we have extremes column just click on that now if you see left side right side okay left offset and right offset okay so suppose for example if you see here we have right here we have left okay so here in the left i am giving some negative value means it is going inside okay so from this edge up to here i want to make it as 30 mm offset okay so here we have 30 mm gap from here to here we have 30 mm okay right side i don't want to give any offset okay just click on preview like this you can start your flange wherever you want okay so just click on okay see like this you can add your flange and now suppose for example here in my parameters if i give extremes square okay just click on okay so here you will get that relief okay in our previous video i have explained about this one if you want to make it as round you can make it if you want to make it as a square or a, a rectangle whatever if you want to make it you can make it it's up to you okay so depend upon requirement we used to change this okay 
so if you increase this value you can increase okay len l1 okay this width will get increase like this okay so it's all up to you as per your requirement we have to choose that values those values okay so now here we have one more option okay that is like uh, suppose for example now if you create a uh, one flange how it is coming you are getting one plain flange right okay if you want to create one more flange with a different uh, sketch or if you want to create your own sketch and then if you want to make it as a, a flange that also you can do okay now let's see how to do that okay so for that what you have to do is you need to click on sketch and uh, just uh, create one sketch on any one face okay in this space i am creating my sketch now and now i am projecting this particular edge okay and here i am starting my sketch or here also you can start your sketch it's up to you okay like this okay whatever sketch you want to create you can create okay so like this different sketch you can create and then for this you can add material okay so up to here i have created and then i want to trim this extra portion okay so this is one sketch okay i want to make my flange like this then obviously you can't create like this by using a flange option directly or wall on edge option directly okay so what we have to do is now in wall on edge we have one more tool or one more option called sketch based okay this is automatic whatever you have seen right earlier that one is automatic i'm making it with a sketch based okay just click on sketch based and then it is asking for a profile okay i have already created a profile if not you need to create by clicking it this sketch option and the same options whatever you have seen earlier right all those options we can see here and then here it will ask to select one edge okay so wherever you have created a your sketch there that particular edge only you need to select okay that's why i have given some gap over here to select easily okay suppose if you see here if i create this sketch up to here then it is somewhat difficult to select this particular edge okay so that is why i have given this gap okay now i am selecting this edge if you select the edge automatically your flange got created just click on okay see like this you can create a flange with a different sketch also okay so these are the different options we have in our wall on it okay so in our next video we will discuss about this extrusion and uh, flange and its types okay so thank you all thank you for watching have a nice day bye